So uh, this topic is uh, SIS overviews. SIS stands for safety instrumented system and uh, safety systems are designed to reduce the likelihood or consequence of these potentially hazardous situations by bringing system to safe state. So uh, what does happen like uh, there are some critical systems in the plant or basically in oil and gas or some chemical industries so we we use safety instrumented system so there are multiple providers like in Siemens if you go you'll find fail safe controllers in uh, Snyder Electric, there are Triconex, Trident type of controllers and systems are there. So similar D4 Yokogawa also there are some solutions. Universal also offers some solutions. So all, all these um, OEMs they have a spatial category of safety instrumented systems and 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 those are implemented in the super critical uh, uh, places. So there are several types of safety systems related to OT environments including emergency shutdown, process safety shutdown, PSS, FGS, fire gas uh, systems, uh, HIPS is also there. So one or more well known of safety systems is SIS and uh, uh, SIS system which is composed of uh, more than instru safety instrumented one or more safety instrumented function. So what is a safety instrumented function? It is an engineered system typically comprised of sensors, logic solvers and panel control elements whose purpose, purpose is to bring the system to safe state when predetermined thresholds are violated. So uh, they are basically focused on the safe shutdown of the system. If, if something or some logic has been triggered or some uh, logic is violated or some thresholds are uh, met, in, in that case the main responsibility of these controllers are to bring to system shutdown in a safely manner, not in an abrupt manner. So these are typically independent from all other control systems so that failure of the basic process control system will not impact the functionality of the SIS uh, in a uh, deleterious manner. So uh, initially SIS were designed in the standalone and physically and logically separated also sometimes air gap. Now also organizations are going for air gapping again in some places due to increasing the cyber threat from a connected network. Uh, so SIS and BPCS operated completely independent of each other without any communication. Then uh, some modern SIS also like if you see I, from uh, Emerson so they have like ICSS. ICSS is a basically integrated control and safety system and in ICCS solutions all uh, you, you can get uh, like uh, there will be communication between the SIS and B BPCS or B basic process control system sometimes. So that, that is the ICSS where the combine the functionality of both control and safety systems. So this is a basic overview of SIS systems and we need to uh, implement proper cyber security. Uh, solutions for to safeguard our SIS systems as well because these systems are super critical and uh, adversary may target and adversary will target these systems for their enhanced gains and in major impact on the on the organization. So one thing is that we can air gap the system again and other that we need to provide at least basic physical access controls. We need to uh, provide all those uh, proven, proven and tested and released by the uh, OEM. So those type of cybersecurity measures we need to implement on the systems. We need to collect the logs from this system to um, for non repudiation. Uh, so let's we'll talk about all these cyber security controls but this is the basic architecture what we what i was trying to explain about the sis and and why it is there so let's let's move to the next chapter thank you